Good everybody, my name is Earl and today I'm going to be showing you how to import from Spreadsheet. So what I've already done is I've created a new client file for 2015 and all we need to do is simply click Import Spreadsheet and go and browse to our spreadsheet. Now this can of course be in XLSX or XLS, it doesn't really matter what version of Excel. Okay, We simply double click on our TB. And what it's going to do is it's now going to open it in a viewer. So this is basically a little Excel viewer that, that was shown, and we can see my trial balance. Okay. Now, the nice thing with DraftWorks is we don't have to pre-format this trial balance into any type. Okay. All we need to do is tell DraftWorks where everything is. And how do we do that? Well, just by selecting the required items on the left-hand side. So how do I do that? Well, I simply click Account Number. And then I go and I click where my account number starts. And we can immediately see it's starting to import the info. Assign account name. Click where my account name starts. Assign debit. Click where my debit column is. Assign credit. Click where my credit column is. Easy as that. Okay, we see we are importing from row 7. Fantastic. And we're importing into our opening balance. Now remember with DraftWorks, our opening balance is our pre-adjustment balance and that's really where we import all of the final TVs into. You can see if we do drop down we do have some other options where we can import into our monthly trial balances or into our budgets or even an interim um, column. Okay but we're going to stick with opening balance now and all we need to do is click import. But before I go on what happens if you have a different structure of a trial balance. Some trial balances have the debits and credits all in one column. Well, we just have to tell it that both my debit and my credit are in that one column. Simple. Some trial balances don't have account numbers. So what do we do then? Well, we just tell it that my account number is my account name. And of course, my account name is my account name too. Just because we do need a reference when we're passing journal entries a little bit later. Okay. So with that done, I click import and it's brought in my trial balance. Quick and easy. Okay, quick linking, jump into our financials, done. Now if you would like more information on linking, there is another video. Just scroll down on YouTube and it will show you the linking procedure. But what happens if I'd like a comparative? Now I have 2015. If I'd like a comparative, all I have to need, need to do is click add prior year. So what's that done? It's just created 2014 for me and we can see that 2014 is now selected now of course if I have already linked it's going to bring my linking all the way back otherwise I can go link in 2014 or 2015 it'll take the linking across so I don't have to link my years individually that will just waste a lot of time and we want to try and make life easy for you so now that I've selected my 2014 I can choose to import from spreadsheet and why is it very important to select 2014? Well, depending on which year you have selected when you import from any of the products, it will import into that year. Okay, so that's very important to remember. Now, 2014, click again, import spreadsheet. Go and find that same spreadsheet I was importing from. Now, this is a layout similar to what you'd find in Pastel. We just have to do the same selection again, where we tell it where our account number is, where our account name. But now my debit and credits are all in the prior column here. And like I said when we were initially importing for 2015, if my debits and credits are in one column. All I need to do is tell it that it's in one column. And click import. And there we go. So we can immediately see, there's my 2015, and there's my comparative imported. Everything is balancing, fantastic. Like I said, a quick link, jump into my financials, draft my financials, done. Quick and easy. Okay. If you'd like any inf more information, please let us know. If you'd like any more videos, please, please let us know. Of course, remember, support is a quick mouse click away. We hope you have a lovely day. Thank you so much. Bye.